Hey guys, it's Joe, Drone Man Productions. How are we all doing today? Uh, basically, I want to ask you something. Do you like wings? What kind of wings do you like? Do you like hot, mild, barbecue, garlic? Well, I like them all. I love especially this wing right here that I'm going to show you. This is the Optera 2.0 meter, fun to fly wing, and you also could do FPV with it. It's a bind and fly. Here is a little bit of a layout. You got your wings and they are quite big. Like I said, this is a 2.0 uh, meter wing when it's, it's all set up. These are your vortex generators to give you lift. Very nice, very big, <laughs> but it, it does come apart very easy once you get it assembled. You got your rods. For, uh, these are basically, uh, I'll show you, these are your rudders. You got your winglets right here, fuselage. And then in the front, you could take this off with two little screws on the side. And you have these different fittings. But the only thing about this is, because this is an older plane, these fittings will not fit any type of GoPro over five. Okay, GoPro five and below you probably could use these fittings to put for uh, FPV on the front. And here inside the fuselage is where you would sit there and mount your FPV uh, electronics. There is a opening down in this part right here, which you could pull off to put a camera, but I do not have a, a GoPro that'll fit in here. Unless I modify these and I'm not really going to modify them. Here is the rear uh, thrust propeller. Really nice. They put it in there. We have an AR631. It's also for uh, AS3X and safe. We will be flying it on and we do not need a lot of power for this because mostly a wing is a glider. So we are going to be using a Spectrum. 2200 MAH 3S 11.1 volt 30C that'll fit right in here. Okay guys, we're gonna get right to the build and after reviewing the Horizon Hobby manual for the Opterna 2.0 meter, they really don't give you some details about where you should put these little, what we call the rudders. Pay attention son, this is for your own good. I thought they'd go over here, you sit there and slide them in that way, like that. But that's not where they go. And I got a little frustrated and uh, I was sitting there putting them over here and I was sitting there putting the rods in, trying to close the wing and everything. But that didn't seem to work because they didn't line up right. So I called my contact at Horizon Hobby, Joe, and uh, actually he called me that uh, he says, you put them on the actual wing itself into that area right there and they go in there so we're going to put them in there and that's where they go now what i say what's the big idea bashing me on the noggin with a rolling pin you put them on the wing okay and they line up <laughs> and i want to give the credit to uh joe at uh horizon hobby you know, I belong to the uh, uh, the Elite Club because I buy a lot of products from them. So I get a, uh, a personal contact and uh, email and he'll answer me very quickly about everything. That's mathematics, son. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with figures. Two half nothings is a whole nothing. And I know what I'm talking about because... I'm not putting the, uh, the winglets on the ends yet. I want to install the wings onto the plane and get them locked in. We have our carbon fiber rods here and here. And to make them go on a little easier, sliding them in and out, we want to take some baby powder, a napkin. And then what I'm going to do is rub this rod up and down 
just give a little bit more slickness on each side so they slide in a lot yeah, better. Went right past you. You gotta keep, I say you gotta keep on your toes. Put toes, that is. Put the fast ones get right by you. Keep your ears open. But All right, first thing is that we wanna do is we're gonna grab our wing and we are going to put the big one on that side. Slide it up right into there. Then we're gonna take our smaller one and put it in there and that kind of goes in that way. And then line these up and put them in there. Come on, get in there, get in there. Push them through. And as you see, they're coming through and it is going a lot smoother with that baby powder. So any plane that has the rods, put some baby powder on. All we have to do is we have one connector and that goes into this side right here. If you look at the uh, one connector over this side from off the, uh, off the uh, uh, receiver, brown is going that way, so we want brown. And I wish they would have put quick connect. That would have made it a lot better, okay? Ah, shut up! And make sure those go in there really nice. And look at how that snapped in there, very nice. And then we're gonna put the same thing, the plug, in this side. Brown facing that way. And that is in there. There we go. Woo! Look at how big this damn thing is. You're gonna need a bigger boat. You got these big ass plugs, and they go in there. Let me give you folks a better shot. You push that in there. You push that one in and turn it and it kind of locks after that we take our winglets we have two one goes in this side over there and one goes in this side look at here son i'm no loud mouth snook this is a dog not a chicken take our uh, smaller clip push this into there down there and there's a groove as you see right there, just turn that and that locks that one in there and push it and lock it there. And that is the assembly Hoptera 2.0 meter. If you want to sit there and transport it, pop them out, take them out, take them out, take each one of the winglets out, boom. No, okay guys, we're going to do the uh, radio transmitter setup and we go into the manual. And what they're sitting there talking about, you know, we're using an NX-8. Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. What we're going to do is turn on our transmitter, create a new acro, and get into system setup, and disable transmitter. To uh, model select, add a new model, and create. And let's do a model name. <clears throat> let's name it. And what we want to do is we're going to name it basically Opterna 2.0. And then we want to just sit there and back out of that. And we're going to go out to this part right here. Next thing is we want to sit there and set the timer. Now they say set the timer to eight minutes. All right, so we're gonna sit there and go in there, scroll down, go to timer, and we're just gonna go timer eight minutes. They do not want you, they want you to leave it a one time inhibit, and we're just gonna leave it that way also. Looked like somebody had beaten you with an ugly stick. We're going all the way down to scroll down to next, and next, and this is where we wanna sit. We don't want anything one minute, we want nothing there. Inhibit. 20 seconds. Well, we'll we get the voice and vibe or voice and tone. Now, whatever you want to choose. I choose voice. I like voice. 10 to 1 seconds. Countdown. I like voice. Yeah, you can put whatever you want. Expiration. I do voice. We want to change that picture right there. We're going to go to the next. Uh, and this is where we're going to come down to the plane. And we're going to change out to make it look like a wing. Oh, there we go. That's that's about the best we're going to sit there and see. Going to dual rate and expo. 
and we don't have anything we have uh, an aileron and an aileron we don't have a rudder we don't have a uh, elevator we have ailerons and so we want to set the dual rates and they're set to high and low at 100 percent so we're going to go into aileron and rate is set at high but we want to sit there and sign a switch and the switch is going to be f okay so i'm going to put at zero as high okay so it's pretty simple i don't i don't understand even why we would even have to sit there and sign a switch i say you gotta keep on your toes put toes that is but the fast ones get right by you we want to do throttle cut because we want a throttle cut on this because if it, it doesn't say anything about throttle cut but the uh, you know throttle cut out start over i don't know you know we're gonna sit there and just go into throttle cut and we're gonna sign a switch and we're gonna sign that to h over here so that is assigned and let's sit there and see what happens you know we have it forward or one so let's see if that affects anything nothing there up and down and if we put it that way yeah we have throttle cut we have throttle cut off throttle cut on okay so that is set there all right i forgot about talking about aircraft type uh it doesn't say anything about that it, we have normal normal it's a wing it doesn't say anything about changing that all right so we have that there and the next thing is we're gonna have to bind it up and uh we're gonna bind it up in safe and okay guys the first thing you want to do in the binding process is this is our plug in the battery and once we plug this in we're going to go back and hold the uh, bind plug in the back of the plane of the receiver show you that in a second okay the next thing is we want to hold that bind plug in hold the bind button what we want to do is turn on our transmitter and then we're going to scroll using the scroll button hit the button here i'm doing this with two hands okay guys and we get the bind we hit bind and then we click over to yes and we sit there and switch over to yes over here and then we're going to switch over to bind hit the scroll button okay we got two dances it's all set up and now it is bound okay so let's check out the surfaces look at me when i'm talking son right there and we have our throttle cut of course on h and we're going to check that out yep that works bound in safe the uh, wings are toggling back and forth and then we go into uh, AS3X and it's set to AS3X there so that's how we do uh, AS3X and safe put it in safe hand toss it let it glide engage the uh, engines and let it go and just sit there and start climbing okay and go from there all right, guys, a couple of final thoughts on this bird. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, yeah. I can't get a word in each way. On the bottom, they give you some nice hand grips right here. So when you're tossing it, you can hold on to it. And this is where you have your, uh, you have your two little dots there. They say for CG, okay? So that gives you the idea where you want to sit there and place your fingers when you turn it right side up and place your battery. Okay, so... You're gonna have to do some adjustments and you figure out where your CG is, depending upon the battery size that you're gonna use. And you're just gonna uh, make your adjustments where you wanna put your CG. You close it up and then you're good to go. So overall guys, that is the Opterna 2.0 wing. It's very huge, great and easy to fly. Enjoy your flying. Any comments, questions or anything whatsoever, 
up here I do a lot of builds in the winter don't do a lot of flying I don't like to go out too much in the winter uh, because it's been pretty bitter up here in the Northeast so when it does warm up we'll get it out and we'll take it out to a field we'll toss it and fly it and see how it goes all right salute talk to you soon enjoy your day let me know and hit that like and subscribe button over there okay because I really could use your support and I hope you enjoy my videos because I try to do the best. See ya. That's all, folks.